Welcome to this week's edition of Eye on the Eagles. The women's tennis team fell in their final two matches of the 2016 season last week. The Eagles suffered a 6-3 loss to Florida Southern and a 5-2 loss to St. Leo. Mina Bennett recorded wins in both of her singles matches in the number six spot. The number six men's tennis team picked up an 8-1 win over Florida Southern last week before dropping the final match of their season to number two St. Leo, 5-1. Denny Schmack and Juan Ortiz Cordaire were victorious in both of their doubles matches on the week. The baseball team opened the week with a 16-6 loss at Flagler. The Eagles followed that up by pulling out another walk-off win over Weber International on senior night. The Eagles tied things up with five runs in the bottom of the seventh, and then in the ninth, Jonathan Camp hit a sacrifice fly as Liam Goodall scored the winning run from third for a 12-11 victory over the Warriors. The Eagles then fell in all three games at number 13, Nova Southeastern, by scores of 11-5, 6-0, and 6-0. The softball team went on the road for a three-game series against Eckerd last weekend. The Eagles lost the first game 14-1, but bounced back to win the series by sweeping the Tritons in Saturday's doubleheader. They won the first game 6-3 behind Cassidy Simon's 10 strikeouts. Haley Lewis led the Eagles to an 8-1 win in Game 2 by smacking two doubles to drive in three runs. Anna Battison had a speedy series, picking up six singles, including a bunt that the Tritons mishandled, allowing her to make her way all the way around the base path to score. Gabby Obia had a strong series as well, going 5-for-8 with three RBIs. Following last weekend's action, Mina Bennett and Denny Schmack have been named Student Athletes of the Week. Coming up this week for ERAU Athletics, the softball team is the lone team in action, playing their final games of the 2016 season against Nova Southeastern. The series begins with a doubleheader on Friday starting at 4 p.m. and then concludes with a single game on Saturday at noon. Tune in next week for more game highlights and a look ahead at what's to come.